question number 54 the system with the open loop transfer function g of s h of s is equal to 1 by s into s square plus s plus 1 has a gain margin of so this question is again a repeative model in every exam so gain he may ask either gain margin he may ask either phase margin gain margin and phase margin questions are quite common and repeative in many competitive exams just try to concentrate on them fine so I'll give you a formula for what is a gain margin so this is the formula gain margin is nothing but in linear let us go for db at the later point of time in linear normal scale gain margin is nothing but 1 by magnitude of the transfer function see magnitude of what magnitude of open loop transfer function since sometimes they will give closed loop transfer function and they will ask gain margin so definitely many people will take the transfer function directly always remember that gain margin and phase margin are found only for open loop transfer functions the very 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 important and many people lost marks because of this small point gain margin and phase margin are found only for open loop transfer functions so gain margin is nothing but one by magnitude of that open loop transfer function at at this frequency what is this frequency phase crossover frequency pc indicates phase crossover frequency many people might have known this everything about gain margin so phase crossover frequency so how first we need to calculate magnitude gain magnitude of this transfer function and phase of this transfer function then i'll explain how to do the remaining part see this is the given transfer function yes or no as it is i have written just i replaced s with j omega s with j omega okay one i wrote as it is s i wrote j omega instead of s square minus omega square because j omega whole square is minus omega square you know that then magnitude i'm finding magnitude is nothing but m is nothing but 1 by omega under root real part imaginary part i separated 1 minus omega square whole square plus omega square then phase is nothing but minus 90 minus tan inverse of omega by 1 minus omega square i think everybody knows how to find the magnitude and phase of a given transfer function i think this is the basic everybody should know fine if you don't know just go through the very basic videos okay that is not a problem then we'll go to the next one you ready with gain and phase margin now we need to calculate first phase crossover frequency how to calculate phase crossover frequency phase crossover frequency is nothing but it is the frequency obtained when phase of a given transfer function is equal to minus 180 when phase is minus 180 whatever at the at what frequency the phase becomes one minus 180 is called phase crossover frequency so same phase i have substituted minus 90 minus tan inverse omega pc by one minus omega pc this must be equal to minus 180 because omega is replaced by omega pc because phase must be minus 180 right so if you simplify you are going to get the phase crossover frequency as 1 you can go through this calculation it is a simple simple calculation the phase crossover frequency you will get it as 1 so what is gain margin once again i wrote the formula gain margin is nothing but 1 by magnitude at phase crossover frequency just write what is magnitude magnitude is nothing but 1 by omega under root 1 minus omega square plus whole square same thing i have written here see this is 1 by actually this is magnitude this magnitude i'm calculating first magnitude is nothing but 1 by omega under root 1 minus omega square whole square plus omega square at omega equal to omega pc this is nothing but 1 at omega equal to 1 let us calculate what is the magnitude so i put 1 then i simplify i got magnitude as 1 then magnitude is 1 means what is gain margin gain margin is 1 by magnitude so 1 by 1 it is again 1 so this is in linear scale in db how to calculate gain margin 20 log gain margin in linear so 20 log 1 so to 1 log 1 is 0 0 into 20 is 0 so the answer is 0 db just go through this video if you have any queries post them in the comment box and subscribe the channel for getting more updates so it's a very simple question you can i think everybody has done this question right so it's a basics of gain margin and phase margin any doubts please feel free to post in the comment box i'll be making any other video if you want just let me know thank you